They will be holding open interviews for those who attend. And what would it be like to be a nurse? We've been asking that question all morning long. We have, and we've been getting a pretty good idea mm -hmm. because Morgan Koziar, she is live this morning in Johnstown at Conema, getting a look at the ins and outs of the job. Good morning, Morgan. Hi, Morgan. Hey, good morning. You know, we've been talking to a lot of nurses, learning a lot about different career paths and different floors that you can work on. Right now, you're an ER nurse. This is Kelsey. Mm -hmm. Talk about what you see in a day and what, what responsibilities you have. Um, since we're a level one trauma, we see a ton of different things, um, anywhere from traumas, psychiatric patients, um, pediatric patients. So we really have to be on our toes down here and um, just kind of keep our eyes open for anything that walks through the door. You said it takes a certain person to do ER. Oh, definitely. You definitely need um, to be busy all the time um, and really get involved with a lot of different specialties and not just one specialty. Mm -hmm. And then it's quick. You're on your feet and you just kind of roll with the punches. Yes. Um, and it's always, you know, exciting and something's always happening. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you love about it? Um, honestly, I love meeting a bunch of different people. You learn so much here. It's a teaching hospital, so we really work hand in hand with our physicians down in the ER, and basically, we're one big family. So, because we were speaking to so many other nurses, mm -hmm. but it's truly something that's all hands on deck. All of you guys kind of work together, you know, here mm -hmm. throughout the whole hospital. Yes, we definitely do. I think everybody here is a big facility. There's a lot of people you need to work with, um, so you kind of have to get along with everyone and work together. Yeah, and so right now, currently, we're seeing a nationwide shortage of nurses, which, you know, is not a good thing. Why, why are nurses so crucial to our communities? Um, nurses are really the hands-on, frontline people that are working. Um, without nurses, I mean, who are we going to put there? Um, doctors are great, um, but they need more nurses to carry out their work. Yeah, and if you think, if someone was maybe nervous or unsure about, you know, going into the industry, what would you say to them? I would say, I mean, if you're going to come to a place, there's a lot to learn and we'll teach you, so there's no need to be nervous about it. Um, we all had to start somewhere, so there's a good place to start is here. Yeah, so you've been a nurse for nine years. Yes. Uh, you've learned a lot over your time here, mm -hmm. and um, it's a good place to work. You, yes. you enjoy working with everyone? I do. It's a great place to work. Um, like I said, we're a big family, especially in the ER. You have to be able to help each other, um, and I think we probably work hands-on with each other more than anybody else, so it's a great place to learn. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely exciting, you know, a lot going on at all times. And you guys, you play such a vital role in our communities. Again, those open interviews at Kahnema Memorial Medical Center from 8 to noon today. Uh, if you or someone you know is eligible, come on in. You know, we got to fill these positions, 25 open positions. Uh, I'll throw things back to you guys in studio. Yeah, in any field, that's a lot of open positions yes. at one time, uh, especially uh, in the medical field and nursing specifically. And they certainly so. do so much for our community. No, they really do. They really do. Thanks, Morgan. Well, let's get a check now at the forecast with meteorologist Christy Shields.